It just goes to show that awards aren't everything. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 great TV shows that never won an Emmy. I, I don't think I can give you any more. I want one. Hey. Before we begin, we publish new content every day, so be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. For this list, we're looking at those critically acclaimed and publicly adored television series that have never won an Emmy Award. Norma. I'm fine. Okay, I'm just in a bad mood. I don't want to talk about it. To be included on this list, the show cannot have won a single Primetime Emmy Award, including the technical ones. Seeing as how the Primetime Emmys honor American television, international shows like Doctor Who will not be included. Come on, then! The Doctor will see you now! Number 10, Bates Motel. Mom! Mom, open the door! Mom! For a strong mystery and psychological horror show, look no further than Bates Motel. Co-developed by Carlton Cuse of Lost fame, Bates Motel acts as both a prequel to and a reimagining of Robert Bloch's timeless novel Psycho. For psychological horror done right, you need to have fantastic lead actors at the helm and both Freddie Highmore and Vera Farmiga get the job done beautifully, portraying Norman and Norma Bates to eerie perfection. I don't think that you killed anyone, Mike. Don't lie to me! Vera Farmiga was recognized by the Emmys and received an Outstanding Actress nomination in 2013, and the series was also nominated for its music and cinematography. Despite how strong those aspects of the show were, it never received a coveted trophy. So just go right ahead. Just go right ahead! Number 9, Sons of Anarchy. It ain't easy being king. Yeah, you remember that. Sons of Anarchy was riding through this world for seven great seasons, yet it never won a single Emmy in all that time, despite receiving considerable critical acclaim throughout its run. The show follows Jackson Jax Teller, a member of the Sons of Anarchy Motorcycle Club, who begins to question his role in the family business. Yeah, it's basically Hamlet with motorcycles and tattoos. Anyone walks into this has an eye line, we born. No risks. The series was nominated for five awards, but never received a single one. Despite that, Katie Seagal won a Golden Globe for her performance as Gemma. So there's that, we suppose. I promise you won't take it to Jax. Right now. Number eight, Parks and Recreation. Would you like to sample our vegan bacon? 100% meatless. Yes, please. Often considered the sister show of The Office, Parks and Recreation follows the bumbling adventures of a parks department in the town of Pawnee, Indiana. Despite a rocky first season, Parks enjoyed critical acclaim for the remainder of its run, particularly for its wacky characters, intelligent writing, and Amy Poehler's performance as Leslie Nope. You don't even know one thing, I didn't even say one thing, and then she asked me the whole thing, and I didn't even do it once. I'm like an elephant, okay? The series was nominated for a staggering 16 Emmys, with six of those nominations going to Polar alone. But alas, they went O for 16. However, awards or not, these characters continue to live on in our hearts and our memes. Number seven, Prison Break. Come find me when you're ready to talk. Prison Break aired at a time when the television landscape was changing, protagonists were becoming more complex, and stories were taking on a more serialized nature. This show, about a man who tries to bust his innocent brother out of jail, was in the thick of it, and its first two seasons provided some gritty and heart-racing entertainment. Why? I'm getting you out of here. Despite the show's positive reception, particularly in its first season, it only ever received one Emmy nomination for outstanding original main title theme music. While the opening theme is badass, the show itself is good and exciting as well. Something's wrong. Number six, Hannibal. I didn't poison you, Tobias. I wouldn't do that to the food. Despite Hannibal lasting only three seasons, they have to be some of the finest three seasons in network TV history. The series is adapted from Thomas Harris's thrilling Hannibal Lecter novels and follows Will Graham, a tortured FBI investigator, and Hannibal Lecter, his cannibalistic psychiatrist. What god do you pray to? I don't pray. The show received immense amounts of critical acclaim throughout its run, particularly for its nuanced acting and nightmare-inducing visuals. But despite that, it never received recognition at the Emmys. In fact, the show was only nominated once for Outstanding Special Visual Effects, which it lost to Sherlock. Travesty, we say. 
What we do for ourselves dies with us. What we do for others lives beyond us. Number five, it's always sunny in Philadelphia. Dude, why do you keep hitting me? Don't talk back to me. This show may not be for everyone. After all, it follows arguably the five worst people on the planet as they ruin the lives of everyone around them. And the humor is particularly dark. That being said, it's also gut-bustingly hilarious and has since proudly taken on the description of Seinfeld on crack. Okay, the customers has to think that you think that you don't want to be together, but you do deep down want to be together. The problem is right now I'm getting that you guys don't want to be together. I need you to want to be together. However, no matter how great the performances and writing, the series has only been recognized three times at the Emmys, and they were all for stunt coordination no less. The series has poked fun at its own dysfunctional nature and lack of mainstream recognition, proving that the creators are perfectly content and proud of the show as it is. Hey guys, 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 slides for kids only, size requirement. Shut up, nerd! <laughs> Number four, Oz. Like my tattoos? I'm gonna have to get you one. Oz is easily one of the most influential shows of all time. It follows the inmates and guards of the maximum security Oswald State Correctional Facility, and it features all the harrowing and disturbing content that brings. Distressing and complex content like this had rarely been seen on TV before, and many critics argue that it was this series, among a few others, that helped usher in the golden age of TV that came about soon after. You saw that I was dying and yet you walked away? You wanted me to die. However, despite its enormous influence on the medium, it was only nominated for two Emmys throughout its lifetime, Outstanding Casting and Outstanding Guest Actor for Charles S. Dutton. Elva Case. Number three, Star Trek, the original series. Your service honors us, Captain. Thank you. Despite low ratings throughout its initial run, Star Trek has since become a cultural phenomenon and has had a huge influence not only on television, but also on popular culture as a whole. It spawned a franchise that continues today, and it's remembered fondly as one of TV's most important titles. So, of course, it received zero Emmy Awards throughout its original run. However, it's not like it wasn't recognized. No. Energize and detonate. The series was nominated for 13 awards, including two for Outstanding Dramatic Series and three for Leonard Nimoy, yet it failed to secure a single win. Maybe it did in some other galaxy. We can only hope. This combat is to the death. Number two, The Leftovers. What happened? Well, it didn't try hard enough. Despite an admittedly rocky first season, The Leftovers captivated critics and audiences alike for its remaining two seasons, providing viewers with some of the most mysterious and emotional television in years. The series is adapted from Tom Parada's novel and follows a band of citizens after 2% of the world's population mysteriously vanishes. Critics have consistently praised its acting, writing, and story, but no matter how much praise is showered upon it, it doesn't change the fact that the series has only received one Emmy Award nomination. And that is almost as mysterious as 2% of the world's population disappearing. It's all just a story, I tell myself. Before we unveil our number one pick, here are some honorable mentions. Make our dreams come true. Ducky, he worked for NCIS. Number one, The Wire. Why'd you let him play? God, this America, man. The Wire is undoubtedly the most deserving show for the top spot on this list. It's widely considered to be one of, if not the greatest television show of all time. Not only does it tell thrilling stories with fantastic characters, it's also been praised for its explorations of urban life, politics, and the drug trade, among many, many others. <laughs> checkers? Yeah, checkers. <laughs> Yo, why y'all playing checkers on the chess set? But alas, it received almost no recognition at the Emmys. It was nominated twice for Outstanding Writing, but lost to House and Mad Men. However, even without any Emmys, it's widely regarded and respected, and nothing can take that away. The bunk can swim. I ain't too good at floating either. Do you agree with our picks? Check out these other great clips from WatchMojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.